Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss the oxidation numbers of chlorine in various compounds and ions. Recall that you can tell from looking at the periodic table that chlorine has seven valence electrons. Chlorine is found in nature elementally as a diatomic gas, Cl2. Therefore, there are 14 valence electrons. Recall that any elements other than hydrogen have to satisfy the octet rule, and they want to have eight electrons in the shell around them. The way that we can satisfy this rule for chlorine is to have a single two electron single bond between the two chlorine atoms. And we notice that we can uh, allocate them uh, since chlorine is the exact same electronegativity as chlorine, that when we have an electron pair, we count one electron in the pair for the leftmost chlorine and the second one for the rightmost chlorine. Therefore, we see in elemental chlorine, chlorine started with seven electrons. It still has seven electrons. Therefore, there was no net change. And therefore, we say the oxidation number for chlorine as an elion, any element is going to be zero. In the compound hydrogen chloride, each chlorine brings in seven valence electrons. Hydrogen brings in one valence electron. We can satisfy the duet rule for hydrogen and the octet rule for chlorine by having a single uh, hydrogen chlorine bond. Because chlorine is one of the most electronegative elements, it's more electronegative than hydrogen, the two electrons in the hydrogen chlorine bond are counted towards chlorine. So chlorine started with seven electrons, now it has eight, therefore it has a net gain of one electron, so its oxidation number is minus one. Similarly, hydrogen started with one electron, now it has zero, so it has an oxidation number of plus one in hydrogen chloride, which is what we call it as a gas. If it were dissolved in water, we would call it hydrochloric acid. Chlorine monoxide has the uh, molecular formula of Cl2O. The chlorines each bring in seven electrons. Oxygen brings in six. So therefore, we have a total of 20 electrons in the molecule. Oxygen is the second most electronegative of elements after only fluorine, and chlorine is tied with nitrogen for third. So in a chlorine-oxygen bond, the electrons are counted towards oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative than chlorine. We can satisfy the octet rule for chlorine and oxygen by having two chlorine-oxygen single bonds, oxygen being in the center of the molecule, in chlorine monoxide. We can see in the diagram that the electrons are color-coded as being representative of the more electronegative elements. So we see that the electrons in the chlorine-oxygen bond are colored red because we count them towards oxygen because oxygen is the more electronegative of the two elements. Since chlorines each started with seven electrons and now they only have six, which we see in green, each chlorine has an oxidation number of plus one. Oxygen started with six, now it has eight, so therefore it has an oxidation number of minus two. Chlorine trifluoride has the molecular formula ClF3. It is a type of compound we call an interhalogen because the elements that make up the compound are entirely halogens. Each fluorine, as well as each chlorine, brings in seven valence electrons, so therefore we have 28 electrons in this compound. Fluorine is the most electronegative of all elements, so therefore the electrons shared between fluorine and chlorine are counted towards fluorine. One thing to notice in this particular molecule is because of the 28 electrons that we can expand the octet for chlorine. Remember that chlorine wants to satisfy the octet rule, but since it's in the third row of the periodic table or later, if necessary, it can expand the octet. It can have more than eight electrons. And here we see a nice example of it. It has six electrons, which it shares with fluorine, and it has 
four electrons, which are in two lone pairs, on chlorine. So since chlorine started with seven electrons, and we see it now has four, four green electrons, it has an oxidation number of plus three. As we are familiar with fluorine, fluorine started with seven, now it has eight, so each of the fluorine atoms has an oxidation number of minus one in chlorine trifluoride. Here we have the molecular structure of hypochlorous acid. The chlorine brings in seven valence electrons, the oxygen atom brings in six, and the hydrogen atom brings in one. Therefore, we have a 14 electron system. Oxygen is more electronegative than either chlorine or hydrogen. Therefore, any electrons shared between oxygen and hydrogen, or between oxygen and chlorine, are counted towards oxygen, and we see that they're color-coded as red. Chlorine started with seven electrons. Now we see that it has six green ones, so therefore it has lost one electron, and it has an oxidation number of plus one. Oxygen, as we'd expect, started with six. Now it has eight, so it has the common oxidation number of minus two. Hydrogen, as is its most common oxidation number other than zero when it's an element, it started with one electron, now it has zero, so it has the oxidation number of plus one in hypochlorous acid. Typically in acids, you'll see that hydrogen will have an oxidation number of plus one. The conjugate base of hypochlorous acid is hypochlorite ion, OCl minus one. The chlorine brings in seven valence electrons, oxygen brings in six, which gives us a total of 13. Plus we have to add one electron to account for the minus one charge. To satisfy the octet rule for oxygen and chlorine, we have a single oxygen chlorine bond. We see that once we allocate electrons to oxygen being more electronegative than chlorine, chlorine now has six electrons shown in green, it started with seven, so therefore it has an oxidation number of plus one. Oxygen, just as in hypochlorous acid, has an oxidation number of minus two, since it started with six electrons, and now it has eight electrons. Hypochlorite ion is commonly found in household bleaches and in the chlorine that is used to disinfect swimming pools. Chlorous acid has the molecular formula HClO2. Chlorine brings in seven valence electrons. Each of the oxygens brings in six, and hydrogen brings in one, which gives us a total of 20 electrons. We notice that to satisfy the octet rule, uh, one of the ways that we can do this, this is one of the uh, resonance structures, we have a chlorine-oxygen double bond, as well as a chlorine-oxygen single bond. There are numerous resonance structures that we could draw for this particular structure. This is just one of them. No matter how we do that, we see that between oxygen and chlorine, we're going to allocate those electrons to oxygen because oxygen is more electro-like, electronegative than chlorine is. O chlorine started with seven valence electrons. Now it has four, so therefore it has an oxidation number of plus three. So notice that when we have hypochlorous acid, chlorine is plus one. When we have just simply chlorous acid, the oxidation number of chlorine is going to be plus three. Chlorite ion is the conjugate base of chlorous acid. It has 20 electrons exact same number of electrons as chlorous acid had, but now it has a minus one charge because we've removed the proton to make the conjugate base. And just as for chlorous acid, we see that chlorine now has four electrons. Since it started with seven, it must have an oxidation number of plus three in chlorite ion.
chlorine dioxide has the chemical formula ClO2. Each of the oxygens brings in six valence electrons, so that gives us 12 total, plus seven more for chlorine gives us 19 electrons. Since we have an odd number of electrons, we have a free radical, and we know that there's no way we can possibly satisfy the octet rule for every single atom in such a case. We can get close to it by having seven electrons on chlorine, uh, and we satisfying the octet rule for oxygen. Since chlorine started with seven valence electrons, and now it has three in chlorine dioxide, chlorine has the unusual oxidation number for chlorine of plus four. Chloric acid has the chemical formula HClO3, and here we have drawn one of the several resonance structures for chloric acid, making sure that we satisfy the octet rule for oxygen and chlorine. And then we notice that for chlorine, we've actually expanded the octet, which we're allowed to do because chlorine is in the third row of the periodic table. Each of the oxygens brings in six electrons, so that's 18. Chlorine brings in seven electrons. Hydrogen brings in one, so that gives us a total of 26 electrons. When we allocate the electrons, we notice that chlorine, which started with seven valence electrons, now has only two. So now it has an oxidation number of plus five. Oxygen started with six. Each oxygen now has eight electrons, so the oxidation number for oxygen is minus two. Hydrogen started with one, now it has zero, so therefore its oxidation number is plus one. Note that chloric acid is generally considered to be one of the strong acids. Uh, it may be one of the ones that's less commonly taught, but it's commonly listed if you look in a more extensive list of the strong acids in aqueous solution. Chlorate ion is the conjugate base of chloric acid. Notice that when we go from the acid to the conjugate base, we won't go in great detail here, but notice that the oxidation number of chlorine is exactly the same in the conjugate base as it was in the original acid. Perchloric acid has the chemical formula of HClO4. Each oxygen brings in six electrons, so that gives us 24. Chlorine brings in seven, and hydrogen brings in one for a total of 32 electrons. Drawn, we see one of the many resonance structures that we can draw for perchloric acid, where we satisfy the octet rule for chlorine, for oxygen and chlorine, and, but we are still able to even expand the octet for chlorine, which we're able to do because it's in the uh, third row. So for those elements that are in the third row, we have to satisfy the octet rule, but we can often go beyond the octet and expand it. Chlorine started with seven valence electrons, and here we see now that there are no green electrons at all. So it lost all seven, and it has an oxidation number of plus seven. So the oxidation number is the highest of all the examples that we've seen so far, which explains the per prefix. Per means the maximum. So here we see chlorine has the maximum oxidation number of all the acids that we looked at. The hypo, as in hypochlorous, means the lowest oxidation number of plus one in, the, in those oxo acids. Perchlorate ion is the conjugate base of perchloric acid. As we noted before, chlorine will have exactly the same oxidation number in the conjugate base as it did in the acid. In this case, it being the maximum value of plus seven. It started with seven valence electrons and it lost every single one of them because we count the electrons to the more electronegative of the two elements. 
which in this case is oxygen. I thank you very much for your attention. As always, have a good one.